guys and welcome back to another video of spark clips in this video tutorial i will be showing you how to make this beautiful ring in fusion 360 basically as you guys can see it got a couple of interlocking uh, pentagons uh, that are interlocked with each other to form a circular profile so basically i will be using the emboss command which is which is newly added command fusion 360 so i don't think the best of in best of my knowledge i don't think that before the introduction of the emboss command this kind of design is possible of course in the solid work space in as far as the sculpt sculpting is uh, uh, concerned uh, you can make anything in sculpting so let's get started what i will be doing is i will first make a pentagon like this a circular one then i am going to just make a circular pattern of it uh, so I have actually made a odd number of patterns here so that I want just wanted to make one differentiate again all the dimension has been assumed the main focus of the video is to teach you the technique so you guys can work it out on yourself so so don't just go on the dimension as you guys can see uh, the, the I am not taking the dimension accurately the, the gap here is more as compared to this so i will just show you the trick you guys can figure it out uh, i think uh, yourself so let's switch to a new workspace and click on create a sketch and on the front plane we will start by making a pentagon so go to polygon go to subscribe polygon and from the origin point draw a pentagon like this press d for dimension and give the dimension between two sides of the pentagon as 10 mm and again go to create go to polygon subscribe polygon and again draw polygon like this and d for dimension and give the dimension between inner and outer as 2.3 and you may finish the sketch now once done again click on create a sketch and on the, this time on the bottom plane and draw a Press C for circle and here draw a circle of diameter 25 like this and press D for dimension and give the dimension here as let's say 25. Basically uh, this dia of 25 represents the dia of the ring. So I, as I told you guys earlier also I am not taking the standard dimensions. You, you guys can alter this. I am just showing you the trick. And as far as this seed is concerned. Uh, it just needs to be on the left or on the right side of the uh, your pentagon. So this is this don't have to do anything really with our design. So every, the thing only matters is the 25 mm diameter. And you may finish the sketch. Now click on extrude command and extrude it let's say make it symmetric and extrude it no dimension is constrained here make sure it is bigger than the pentagon and click on new component and press ok now press shift and n to enable the color toggle assembly now go to emboss command select this face and the face of the emboss command now if you if you guys don't aware of the emboss command i have already posted a video a week ago so you guys can check that out so click on the emboss the deboss is the cut and emboss will add the material so just uh, as you guys can see the depth is 1 mm so make it 2 mm the thickness and press ok now once done press again go to extrude now we we don't need this cylinder so just cut it like this and all all remain is this circular pentagon that we have now click on from the sketch and on the very first plane uh, press p for project and project all these dimension like i am doing actually we will be making a line here now once done oh i i forgot to press the ok button so let me just project these lines and ok now press l for line and draw the join these two point and again repeat the line and from this point draw a line and give this these two line parallel relationship now once done just you need to extend this line furthermore no dimension is necessary just join this like this now again for the inner portion also 
draw these lines somewhere like here and join it here now press again a line this is going to be our center line uh, okay we don't need to do this right now and you may finish the sketch now again click on emboss select all these profile we will be making an extra a cut on this surface so click on face here and this time the effect would be deboss as we want to remove the material and the depth would be minus one and you may press enter so after your um, emboss command this is how your uh, pentagon will look like now again we need to do the same step but for the uh, opposite surface so for that again click on sketch and click on the front plane and just reverse the normal just look at from the other side like this now as you guys can see i have did the uh, emboss this face now i'm going to make the emboss on this face but on the from the opposite side so again press p and select these lines like i am doing and press ok now press l for line and join these two point and again line and from this very point draw a line like this and give these two line a parallel relationship now once done you may extend these line the dimension is not necessary just make sure it is more than the profile and again on this side also extend it like this and join these two lines once done what i'm going to do is emboss and select these three sketches and this time the face would be the opposite one like this and you may press ok now once done now i am going to make a circular pattern actually i need a two of them on this face and two of these on this face so what i am going to do is go to create go to pattern go to circular pattern and go to feature because emboss command we have just used is a feature so the object would be the first second embossed and the third embossed and the access system would be uh, remember we have made all of our sketch from the origin so this will be our origin line and the quantity would be two and you may press ok now after the successful emboss this is how your pentagon will look like now again we need to give some radius on all the edges that we have got here so for that you may click on the fillet button and select all the five edges of the pentagon so once selected give this a radius of let's say a 1 mm press fillet this face and this and this and give the radius here of let's say 1 and you may press ok now as for remain faces remain faces are concerned uh, you may give radius on each and every surface so i am just skipping the video as you have to select each and every faces edges personally so i have given the radius here uh, of uh, 0.1 or you can get 0.2 it doesn't matter uh, this, this is a simple thing now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a circular pattern now for that just go to your sketch and unhide the second circle we have drawn now we would be using this circle as an access system so go to create go to pattern go to circular pattern choose the pattern type as bodies and you can also uh, compel or component if you want each and every component or each and every uh, the pentagon as a different component basically i want different colors for each and every pentagon so that's why i will create a body and this will be the object and the access system would be this and as you guys can see this is all the assumed dimension nothing is standard so as when i was doing the research on this i found that making the angle as 359 and the quantity 14 would do the job 
approximately so you guys can uh, change the dimension to make it more realistic so this is how it will look like uh, once the uh, circular pattern is closed you may select the sketch and for appearance press a and it will switch off the toggle assembly and you can just differentiate between uh, you can use the different types of color or all the gold coating and anything you want uh, for your uh, ring so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming video and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.